In the last days, the Bible says there will be doctrines of devils, 1 Timothy chapter 4. And 2 Corinthians chapter 2 says we are not to be ignorant of Satan's devices. So it is important that as we get closer into these last days, we are not to be ignorant of what Satan is doing in our world to deceive us so that we don't fall prey into his evil system. All right, there's one thing that's going around that's becoming very popular now. And within our new generation with millennials and everybody, they're going to be paying attention to this more and more. Box offices are getting flooded with this. Toy stores are making a killing selling this. A lot of people are blowing up on the internet. They're creating new blogs and sites about this. And let's cover this one branch of group of people. Let's look at Revelation chapter 9, shall we? Let's first cover this one person here. Aquaman. Aquaman. Do you know what's going to happen in the last days? What's going to happen in the last days is that someone's going to come out from under the sea. And these group of people are going to come out under the sea and rescue the world from, the, from their hard time and from their apocalypse. A lot of the UFO sightings that you will hear about, you got to realize this. Yes, we see them traveling in outer space and around the universe, but you got to realize that's not where they come from. They come from below. They will travel up there because the, the demonic forces do that. But they come from below. Let's look at Revelation chapter 9, verse 1. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as a smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out the smoke locust upon the earth. So notice that these group come from and below, below. There's a city below you. Hmm. Let's look who's the king over these creatures. Look at verse 11. And they had a king over them. Ah, so there is a king over the city. Kind of like Atlantis being a city below they would call these uh, humans surface dwellers, they would call them, because they're below the surface. Not only that, these people who are below under the sea, they have a king over them. How about that? Let's look at verse 11. They had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue had this name Apollyon. There's your demonic force. Let's look at verse 14. Saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in where? The great river Euphrates. The four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, uh, 200, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinths and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were at the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Out of this Atlantis city below the surface comes out a king who leads them. Abaddon at verse 11. And not only that, there will be four powerful forces, fallen angels who will come out as well, and they will lead an army. There's your Aquaman, right there. Let's also turn to the book of Job, chapter 40. Job, chapter 40. What is Satan known to be as? Leviathan. Leviathan. Verse 1, Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? See, he is swimming in the sea. You'll notice that. He is swimming in the sea. Look at verse 23. The what? Flakes of his flesh are joined together. What does Aquaman have? Flakes within him. You'll notice also right here, verse 31, He maketh the deep to boil like a pot. He maketh the sea like a pot of ointment. See, he hath power over the sea. Who has power over the sea? You'll also notice in verse 34, this is definitely Satan. He beholdeth all high things. He is the king over all the children of who? Pride. He is the king over all the children of pride. That's Satan. So you'll notice right here demonic forces that are associated with Satan. 
There you see Aquaman. Let's also turn to Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18. Let's cover another superhero right here. Another superhero right here who has become famous. And there are multiple movies throughout the DC world that would mention this person. His name is Batman. Batman. All right, what is this right here? Bat. Let's look at Revelation chapter 18. That's a demonic force as well. That's a demonic force as well. Do you know that these devils, do you know what they come out as? Uh, the Nephilim and fallen angels? Their offspring, you know what they come out as? They come out as uh, half supernatural, half mutant, half creature, and half human. Matches perfectly with these so-called heroes, and they will be coming down upon the earth. Let's look at the book of Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean, unhateful bird. Read the book of Leviticus, and you'll, you'll notice there at the book of Leviticus, it'll mention this creature, the bat. The bat as one of the unclean creatures, unclean bird. But let me. Uh, but just a side note, just a bonus. I'm not going to uh, cover this, okay? But just a bonus. You know what these fallen beings are going to be doing? They're going to suck your blood like a vampire bat. Oh, he's crazy. Okay, I'm not going to give a verse on that. I'll just have you call me crazy. I'm not going to give a verse on that. That's found in multiple teachings. I'm not going to do it here, okay? Because i got to cover all these DC heroes right here. Okay, let's cover another DC hero right here. Go to Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. His color. Let's match his color right here. They will make a movie about him one day probably. I think there's a TV show now if they come out with him. The Flash. The Flash. What is his symbol? The lightning. Who is Satan likened to? Look at Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. Luke chapter 10 and verse 18. Where do people get these ideas from? Luke chapter 10 verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as what? Lightning fall from heaven. There's your flash right there. So you'll see a lot of these demonic creatures uh, that are covered through the guise of superhero, supermen who will live among the human world and we'll all live happily ever after oh that that's bogus Daniel chapter 2 Daniel chapter 2 how many times do I have to quote this passage you see me quote this passage over and over and over again Daniel chapter 2 they will live amongst the humans <clears throat> and they will intermingle with the humans just like Superman and a news reporter so there might be a CNN news reporter who will just sleep with one of those sons of God. Now, don't get mad at me, okay? You liberal news media out there, okay? You would be the first person who will fall for that demonic superhero. Don't get mad at me. I just had to do that. They just yak their mouth 24-7. Let me get my one minute of relief right here, please. Daniel chapter 2. We're going to look at verse 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh the pieces and subdueth all things. Look at verse 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. So notice there will be a kingdom that will have clay and iron together. Who is that? Look at verse 43. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall, they, whoever they are, shall mingle themselves with who? The seed of men. So iron and clay mixing together is they mixing with humanity. So then they are not humans then. Who are they? Other, some, uh, some others. Or like other beings. 
think about that for a while. Aliens from outer space, man. Aliens from outer space and all this kind of stuff. Where do they get these ideas from? They will live amongst the human world and intermingle with them. There's also a lot of messages given right here. You can notice there's a lot of messages given right here. We're going to look at the book of Zechariah, please. Let's look at the book of Zechariah. Zechariah. Get a society nowadays that, who are very demonic and they want to raise this up really, really high. You talk about the feminist movement and what you picture is a screaming woman. You will picture a screaming woman going out on the streets. Let's look at the book of Zechariah. Now, one of the famous superhero that a lot of people are talking about, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. And you know what people want nowadays? They want a Wonder Woman, not a Superman now. When you talk about a Superman, you know what they do? They call that male chauvinism. But that kind of mentality is similar to the hero Wonder Woman, where they have a disdain toward men, toward humanity. But these group of women have an appreciation for the gods. Think about it. Now, come on, is your head calculating something strange here? When these gods come down and mingle with the women, the women, will, the women have a disdain toward their fellow men, but they will have a greater appreciation to mingle with those sons of God instead. Now, you think about that and pray about that for a while. You know what Satan wanted to do? Satan wants to destroy man, the Mankind, God's creation of man. God, once he created man and woman, he said, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. But Satan, he wants to ruin that process, so he sends sons of God at Genesis 6 instead to mingle with the women. I mean, think about it, man. If, you, if, if you're getting all mad at me, don't get mad at me, woman. If you, it, don't tell me that you don't want to sleep with Superman and you're mad at your husband and you call him a male chauvinist or your boyfriend. Okay, but you think about that for a while. Think about that for a while. All right, let's look at Zechariah chapter 5. Zechariah chapter 5. There are demonic forces, female forces. Really, Pastor? Yes, there are demonic female forces. I'm not going to cover in this video, but I already covered in my other video. You ever heard of the, uh, another female superhero called the Black Siren? So picture as seductive. They have to make these, you notice female heroes, they have to make them seductive. But Black Siren, you ever heard of the mythologies that uh, those sirens, those mermaids under the sea with their siren voices? You know what that is? That's demonic. Are there female demonic creatures? Yes. Look at Zechariah chapter 5. We will read verse 6. And I said, what is it? And he said, this is an ephah that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead. And this is a woman that sitteth in the midst of the ephah. Look at verse 9. Then lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, there came out two women. And the wind was in their wings. For, had, for they had the wings like the wings of a stork. And they lifted up the ephah between the earth and the heaven. These are good Godly women angels. No, if you just, just look at verse 8. And he said, this is what? Wickedness. wickedness. No, it's evil. It's wickedness. But you see the kind of uh, thing that people are putting within your younger and your younger generation. And I promise you this, this will carry throughout generations till the end of the tribulation. That's what's happening. But here's the thing is that are they consciously trying to brainwash us or something like that? Satan doesn't, all, doesn't attack you successfully like that all the time. It's always through unconscious means. The greatest tool that attacks your unconsciousness is television. And it puts these messages in your head. And then it desensitizes you when these kind of creatures will come down one day. And you will look at these heroes. And you will adore them. And you're going to admire them. And one day, there's going to come some kind of being. Let's look at the book of Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. Let's, let's cover some other gold mines real briefly, real quickly and real briefly here, shall we? You notice what these heroes are called? They're called what? 
DC. You went, you took a tour at Washington, DC before? You know what you see all over the symbols? Masonry. You see satanic symbols all over. Visit Washington, DC. And look at all the symbols and the structures. The obelisk is the most infamous one. All of that. All of that. These are the heroes. And it all started where? It all started with masonry, something satanic as well. Think about that for a while. Now, think about a church, though, a church that can be universal toward any political party, interdenominational, is responsible for any kind of modern version today, and their religion is actually called universal church, Catholicism. The Roman Catholic Church. And these heroes, what, what are they? United as one. We're universal. We are the Justice League, they will call it. Because we are trampling down the villains. And who are the villains? You'll notice that these groups will band together as one league. Who makes a league, the Bible says, at the book of Daniel? The Antichrist. Look at that, look at that, look at that verse if you don't believe me, all right? It makes a league, that's the Antichrist. Let's all unite together and bring our justice and let's trample out the villains. Who are the villains? The Christians. Let's trample out the joker. The Christianity, how many times have you heard Christianity is a joke? How many times have fundamentalist Christians be called Jesus freaks? We are the jokers. We are the villains. Let's trample them all out. But they really band together because one day we're going to get this invasion from up there from outer space. So we heroes came in this earth to save you and rescue you. Let's all band together. All nations band together. You unite with the Flash. You unite with the Siren. You unite with Aquaman. You unite with Batman. You unite with Wonder Woman. Let's all band together and let's tackle this dictator who demands, I want all of mankind to sit at my feet and worship me. That must be dark side right there. Nope, that's Jesus Christ. And he will rule them with a rod of iron and will demand their worship. How about that? See that? Unconscious messages. And these people, they will follow the Antichrist because they just followed this pattern through television and they got desensitized. Revelation chapter 19, verse 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. You know what God's going to do with all these so-called superheroes and mankind? Wipe them all out. Wipe them all out. And they can get rich billionaires who are being a hero in secret, a.k.a elites, a.k.a. Jewish bankers, a.k.a. Catholic elites, a.k.a. what, Bilderbergers, a.k.a. what, the Club of Rome, a.k.a. the CFR, a.k.a. yeah, see that? See that? Under cover of night, we are your heroes, the rich people, who will fund all the heroes here to attack some invasion from some dictator who wants us to worship him. We don't want that. Now, y'all think and pray about that for a while now, okay? Y'all think and pray about that for a while. Let, let, me, let me close with one more verse with this teaching. Go to Obadiah, please. Obadiah. I think you would love to hear this part. Look at the book of Obadiah. They, these are the superheroes that mankind will follow. But instead, the Lord gave them something that these people has overlooked all this time. God said, you're going to be greater than these superheroes. I'm going to give you powers and more than just their powers. You can become the superhero that does more than all these powers together. And isn't this funny how mankind, what do they want to do? What they want to do is follow, I'll follow these superheroes right here. But Jesus Christ offers you, no, I'm giving you these superhero powers. But you reject it, don't you? You know who are the real heroes? Us. Look at Obadiah. Look at the book of Obadiah. We're called the heroes? Yeah. 
You are called the heroes, didn't you know that? Look at verse 21. We're going to come down with Jesus Christ. You read that in Revelation 19. We come down and then we uh, deliver the world. You know what we're called? Verse 21. And what? Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. You are the superhero, friend. Won't you receive Jesus Christ for your salvation today and humble yourself? Don't join this pitiful feminist movement, this pitiful liberal world, this pitiful evolution pseudoscience garbage. Don't follow this New World Order system, this one world religion. Don't be so pitiful and dumb to follow that. Why don't you just get saved in the Lord Jesus Christ? You can become the superhero.